Compute GUI Application Development Basics In this section, you will learn Design in Qt Creator Signals and Slots Window Dialog pop up All the basics of Qt GUI development The first video is about Design in Qt Creator In this video, we are going to take a look at how to create a Qt GUI application project in Qt Creator and use its design mode to design the user interface. Now if you're ready, let's launch Qt Creator and get started. Click New Project button to create a new project. Select Qt Widgets Application Project. Qt Widgets means the traditional desktop widgets in C++. Set the project name. Select the widgets. Next, now we have a chance to choose the base class. In this example, we will use QMain window, which gives us a full featured window. Meanwhile, QWidget will give you the freedom to create a custom widget. QDialog makes things easier if you want to create a custom dialogs that have simple contents with buttons to accept or reject. Once we have the skeleton, we can build and run immediately. It will give you a blank window, since we haven't done any UI work yet. How do we add a text widget saying hello world to the center of window? Double-click mainwindow.ui under Forms, and you will be redirected into the design mode. You can only edit this file in this mode. On the left-hand side, there are all widgets and layouts that you can use. The bottom panel has an Action Editor and a Signals and a Slots Editor. An action represents a clickable action and usually appears in the menu or toolbar. Then on the right hand side, you have the top panel showing all widgets that belong to this UI class. The bottom panel gives you all property details of selected widgets object. This is the place where you can further customize the objects. Things like title, text, icon, font size. Now let's add a label widget to the window. It's so simple that all you need to do is to drag a label widget into the view in the middle. You can then use the mouse to move or resize it. To change the text in the label, just double click the label and edit. Or you can go to property panel, scroll down to Q label section. Here you can change the text. Now we've changed it to hello world. Let's just build and run it again. And you get hello world displayed in the window. To make it aligned right in the center of the window, we need to make use of the layout. If you look closely at the object tree, you'll see that the main window is treating central widget as a single widget that has some children objects, and the central widget has its own layout to arrange its children widgets objects. Since we only have one label widget here, to make the text shown in the center, we can use either vertical layout or horizontal layout. Select Central Widget and click Vertical Layout button. You'll see the Label Widget now fills up all space of the Central Widget. Then click Label Widget Object, scroll down to the Alignment property. We change it to make it aligned in the center both horizontally and vertically. If you build and run the application again, voila, the text is shown right in the center. 
it stays in the center when you resize the window as well. All which objects you see from the object tree are also accessible in the code. That's how you can control the user interface programmatically. Switch back to the edit mode to check main Windows header file first. You see there is a private member called UI. This is the accessor for main window.ui. Now if you want to change the text of that label, you can do it by adding the line to the constructor like this. Let's run the application again. You see the text is changed by the code. In most cases, it's much preferred to have a user interface designed in .ui file. Wherever possible, in the design mode, it is much more intuitive and you can immediately see what the interface looks like without even running it.